circular motion try this question yourself when you have done it then watch the clip first we can work out the radius so the hypotenuse is 1 meter angle is 50 so the opposite is equal to sine 1 times sine 50 degrees we don't need to work out the numerical value we just use it as it is then we're going to resolve it horizontally so first we need the component of this tension we call it T1 and this tension we call it T2 so the component acting to the left is T1 sine 50 similarly here plus T2 times sine 50 and it's equal to centripetal force which is m b squared divided by r and we rewrite t1 sine 50 plus t2 sine 50 m is 4 B is 5, so it's 5 squared, divided by R, which is sine 50. And then we divide both sides by sine 50. So we got T1 plus T2, 4 times 5 squared is 100. So we already got sine 50, then we have to divided by another sine 50, so it's a sine squared 50 on the bottom. So therefore T1 plus T2 is equal to 170.41. So this is our equation 1. Then we resolve it vertically so this T1 component is acting upwards so this is the adjacent so is T1 cosine 50 but this component T2 is acting downwards so it's minus T2 cosine 50 and it's equal to to the weight acting downward so mass is 4, so this is 4G. Then we divide both sides by cosine 50. So we get T1 minus T2, 4G divided by cosine 50 we get the answer 60.98 so this is our equation 2 then we're going to add equation 1 and 2 so T1 plus T1 give us 2T1 plus T1 minus T1 cancel out then 170.41 plus 60.98 we get 231.39 and we divide by 2 we get T1 equal to 115.697 then we use equation 1 so T2 is equal to 170.41 
minus t1. So from this equation we get t2 equal to 54.71. So now we write our answers correct to three significant figures. So t1 is equal to 116 Newton T2 54.7 Newton